The next thing we want to do is to build out the different forms that will be in each of these tabs. So this is the personal info that takes all this personal information and details. So I'm going to create a new file within source called personal info .tsx. build out this form, we're going to be using Chakra UI's field components. So the field component is what allows us to add form fields into our form. So I'm going to take this demo snippet right here, add it here, import field from Chakra UI and import input as well. So now we can make this into what we need. So the first field is this first name. So I'm going to call this first name. We do not have a placeholder. So I'm just going to remove that. Yeah. So I'll repeat the same step for R next, which is our last name field. And then we have our email address. Actually going to just expand this fully. Email address. Email address. And we finally have our phone number field. We also have a button. So this button is going to come from Chakra UI and it's going to say next. Next. You can give the button type of submit. So this way we've been able to use Chakra UI form components to create our personal info form. And one thing I can instantly do is to add in a stack within all of this. So I'm just going to add a stack component to stack all of this form fields together. Give it a gap of let's say four. The next thing we need to do is to build out our next form which is the work info form. So based off what we have in Escalidra here, we see that we need a job title, a company, years of experience, and a previous and next button. So we're going to build that now. So I'm really going to copy this, create a new file here that says work info, it's CSX. I make a couple of changes here. So this is called work info. Now we need to have a job title. That's what it's called job title as the label. We also need to have a company name. Finally, we need to have years of experience. So I think I missed email as a type of the input. So I'm just going to add this. This should have email as the type. We also need to have a button that says previous. Let's build out the more details form. So let's go back to our SCALI draw and see what we have right there. From this screenshot, we see that we have career goal which is more or less like a text area and then we have a learning style which is really a select so i'm going to copy all of this as well create a new file here called more details and now i begin to make a couple of changes the first thing is to modify this job title to be career goal. And now instead of the inputs, I'm just going to use a text area because we need more information, right? So I'm going to import the text area components from Chakra UI. Now you notice that this is a select, which can be a native select. So I go back to my documentation and i'm just going to scroll down to where i have my native select yep 
So this is a basic example of how to use the native select. So I copy this. That is why I love the check value documentation. It makes it a lot more easy to use. So I paste this in. I import our native select components at the top. And then obviously I need to wrap this with the field component. So I'm going to add field here. A field dot root component here because I need to use my label. So I add this around and then just like what I have here, I need a field label, but this field label is called learning style. So I change this to learning style. Yeah. I also change the options accordingly. This should be videos. This way I've created all the forms for each of the steps. I have my personal info form, my work info form and more details form. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to add React Hook form and Zod validation into all of these forms.